Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. In this video, I will going to show you how to use data table inside the Laravel application. So this is my Laravel application. So here we will use Yajra data table packages for Laravel. So first install Yajra packages. So we need to use composer require Yajra slash Laravel hyphen data tables. Okay, just enter this. So composer.json has been updated and it's updating all the required dependencies. So Laravel Yajra data table package installed in our application so we need to configure in our application so just go to the project directory so inside the config folder we have app.php we need to register our packages here so inside the providers we need to first add the Yajra Laravel packages so use Yajra slash data tables slash data tables service provider colon colon plus and we need to add into the allies so inside the allies array we need to add here inside the colon here we will use data tables and inside this we will add slash yajra slash data tables slash facets slash data tables colon colon plus okay so our app.php is configured so now publish this package so to publish we need to use php artisan vendor colon publish okay and right here provider and the provider path so here the provider path is here is the data table data service provider okay so just paste it here and enter sorry we don't need to use the slash here so just enter this okay so the publishing complete so now we will add some data into the model and we will create a data table okay so first of all we need to create a controller so just create the controller php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is member controller so controller created successfully so now we will create a model and a migration okay so to create a model we need to use php artisan make model and suppose my model name is member and we will create a migration along with this so just use minus m okay so model created successfully and a migration created so just go to the project directory we will get a model inside the models folder that is member model and a migration file inside the database folder that is database migrations and inside the migration we will get the create migration table okay so just to modify the migration so i am adding some column that is table i am adding string so a string type that is suppose i am adding the column name name and i am going to add another column that is suppose email okay so I write email so my migration is set so now migrate this okay so before this i am adding uh, one things in the member model so just go to the member model 
so here I am declaring protected dollar table and the name of the table is members and I am using another variable that is protected uh, I am using the fillable here so fillable and inside the fillable I will create the array and inside the array I will provide the column name of the database that is name and email okay so my migration is ready and my model is ready so just migrate this so go to the terminal and use php artisan migrate okay so migration is done and if you go to our database so i'm using the laravel database and here we will see the member table is created and there is a column that is name and email so let's add some data into this table so to add data we will use a factory here so let's create a factory so to create factory we need to use php artisan make factory suppose my factory name is member factory and i am using the model here so here just mention the model name that is member okay so just write it here member and just enter this okay so factory created successfully so go to the project directory and here you can see inside the database database there is a folder that is factories okay so just open this factory and you can see the member factory is created so here in the definition function we need to add our column name so just use the name and for name i will use this arrow faker and name okay and i am adding value to the email so same like dollar this faker and email okay so our factory is configured so now i will insert record using tinker so basically tinker runs with php artisan command so just use php artisan tinker okay so here we will use the model name that is member and after that we will call the factory okay so this is the factory and i will add suppose 100 records so here we will add the count and 100 okay so there is 100 record and after that call the create method to create records okay so we just enter this so we can see the hundreds data added into the table so just go to the database so if you go to the members table so here we can see there is 100 records inserted into our table okay so now we are going to display this record from the views so just create data tables so go to the terminal and create a data table so create data table we need to use php artisan data tables column make member so basically member is the model name okay so directly is created so now go to the project directory so if we go to the app and inside the app we will get the data tables folder and we can see the member data tables so basically which we have just created so there we can see the default function that is data table and there is a query function and basically html view and columns okay so basically it will return as an output okay so here we don't need to use dom and we are not using any buttons so just remove this okay and in the gate column section we just remove all the sections 
and provide our custom array we will return id name and email so this thing so these three things okay so now go to the member controller so inside the http controllers there is a member controller so just create a function to fetch records from database so use public function index okay and here we need to use the data tables so just call the data table so here is the data table name space app data tables so just use here use app data tables and name of the data tables is the member data table okay so just use this to the top of the controller so here i'm passing the class name with the function and creating the variable that is data tables okay and just simply return the dollar data table and render this inside the view suppose my view name is member okay so we need to create a view inside the view folder so just go to the resource and inside the resource there is a view and inside the view just create on the file that is member.blade.php so let's add uh, html5 elements so here is the element i am changing the title that is member list and here i will use the bootstrap okay so just go to the browser and get bootstrap cdn so go to the google and get bootstrap.com okay and go to bootstrap.com and get started and copy the css so copy the css and paste it here and copy the js okay so paste this here okay and here we need to use the jquery cdn also so jquery cdn okay so here is the jquery cdn and go to this link and just use the minified and copy this so here we will copy into this section and we don't need to use this slim.min.js so just remove this and we will use the data table cdn so just go to the data table cdn and here is the data table cdn and go to the booster 4 and inside the booster 4 just copy the css so use this here that is link href just add this here and copy the js that is jquery.dreadable.min.js so use the script tag and inside the script tag use src and paste it here and copy this another and the next js that is database bootstrap for main.js so just paste it here so inside the body just create a section and close the section and inside the section I am creating a class that is div and suppose the class is container and inside the container I am creating another div for row so 
so class row and inside the row class i will create the column class so here create column classes column md12 okay and just close the div okay and i am creating a style for section so here i am using the style and providing the padding top suppose 50 px and here we need to just call the data table okay so use here dollar data table arrow the table okay and after the section we need to call the data table script okay so here use data table column arrow scripts okay so let's call this index function from route so go to the route and inside the routes we have web.php so let's use the member controller first so here is the namespace that is app http controller and name of the controller is member controller okay and create a route that is route get suppose route name is member list and and call the controller that is member controller class and after that provide the methods okay so all are set so now go to this url okay before that we need to run the server so run the server php artisan sub okay so just go to the url so here write url member list so here so sorry there is a mistake and that is data table so we need to use so we need to use the t in caps so just go to the member blade and here the spelling mistake okay and now go to the browser and run this sorry and there is a mistake so basically this is the function so we need to use this function so just refresh this now so here you can see the drop down to choose how many records you want to see at a single page so you can set 10 or 25 or anything you want and in the bottom section we can get the two three four okay so by changing this we can see there is also changing so this is the basic data tables using the laravel application this is all about laravel data table integration using zaza data table packages please comment if you have any queries about this video next day we will going to show you some more topics with the laravel and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye